This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 4. This is not a fight against us versus them, but this is a fight for morality, fight for doing what's right, and a fight for doing what is After plans for a migrant camp fall apart, interfaith leaders at Chicago City Hall now pushing back on talk of a possible referendum over Chicago's status as a sanctuary city. Good afternoon to you. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. Thanks for joining us. The contentious debate over how the city is handling new arrivals, leading to more turmoil and finger pointing at City Hall. After the state cited environmental concerns to block the Brighton Park plan, the massive tent city now being scrapped this afternoon. WGN's Julian Cruz is live at City Hall with the very latest on this. Julian. Well, Lourdes and Ben, many aldermen we talked to telling us that they are still in the dark when it comes to detailed information from the office of Mayor Brandon Johnson or city planners. No explanation for how much the Brighton Park project has cost and will cost Chicago taxpayers and potential liability concerns at this point, all unanswered questions. We still don't know how much money has been spent to even build up what was at Brighton Park. The chairman of the Immigrant and Refugee Rights Committee looking for answers as contractors on the southwest side of Chicago begin to dismantle what was supposed to be a temporary shelter for 2,000 migrants in Brighton Park. In a stunning setback earlier this week, Mayor Brandon Johnson's office declaring the former industrial site to be suitable for migrants despite the discovery of mercury and other contaminants, the Illinois EPA abruptly halting the ill-fated project. We need to find out, right, there's a $29 million deal for the whole year as it relates to that contract. I think we've got to look not only what's in the contract, but again, how much money has been spent in an unfinished project. As members of the city council look to make a appointments with the mayor's office to receive briefings on the Brighton Park matter. Governor J.B. Pritzker says it's time to move on with winter threatening migrants still living outside police districts. Speaking to reporters today, the Illinois governor looking to tamp down reports of friction between him and the mayor's office. I think you guys like to stoke that conversation of differences. The fact is that we want to work together and our staffs have been working together for literally, I think it's a year plus now, uh, and with this mayor seven months, uh, to try to solve some of the problems that are ahead. Um, and, you know, this is not about, you know, did somebody do something that the other party didn't like? This is about just move ahead, work through the problems, get the job done. And the governor says that the hope is that the Archdiocese of Chicago will help to provide some help when it comes to shelter space. Now, this afternoon, a spokesperson with the mayor's office telling us in a written statement that they are in conversations with the parties involved in this matter, including city council members. At City Hall, Julian Cruz, WGN News. All right, Julian, thank you. A community activist says he plans to file an injunction to keep migrants out of a shuttered Catholic school on the northwest side. We do not want sanctuary city. All right, we want it repealed. And Pat Gibbons led a news conference outside of the St. Bartholomew building that's in Portage Park. The city announced a plan to move as many as 350 migrants into that building in the coming weeks. Residents complaining there has been no transparency about the plan, and they also worry that the migrants haven't been properly vetted. 